so Derek, here we are for 10 questions with, we've done one of these with Dustin Colquitt and bringing him up, this is a guy that you came here with. Do you ever look at him and just ask, you know, where the time go? Definitely. Uh, Dustin Colquitt is, is one of the dinosaurs on the team like myself. Uh, uh, it's great to uh, see a guy that I was drafted with in 2005 and him still playing at a high level at this, this age. Tom Bahali is another guy that you've been in the same room for 10 plus years. What kind of relationship develops with Tom Bahali over the years? Tom Bahali is a great guy, man, on and off the field. Good, Tom No, you did right. He's been here 11 years, so I've been here 12 years, so I, all my years I've been with him. We've overcome so much on and off the field here at the Chiefs. It's a blessing to build a friendship with Tom Ali and something that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And here you are in your 12th year. Looking back, do you have a favorite game that, that sticks out in your mind? In 2009, when I uh, intercepted two passes and took them in for touchdowns. They're going to throw it anyway. It's intercepted. Picked up on the near side. Derek Johnson. He's going to go all the way again. Derek Johnson did it earlier from 45 yards. He goes 60 on this interception return. I think it's only three or four linebackers in the history of the game to take back two interception uh, for touchdowns. So. And question number four, over that same span, do you have a favorite teammate or someone you're closest with over that time? He would have to be talking about league. Jamal Charles is a favorite of mine because he's a, a longhorn, uh, but at the same time, uh, He's on the offensive side, so I have an offensive favorite and a defensive favorite. So. Now, you obviously are above the average of a career for a linebacker, definitely, in this league. I've watched training camp interviews with you. You say something that sticks out is you always try to come to training camp a little lighter. Is that the key to staying in this league, or is there something else that sticks out? It's part of the reason uh, that, I'm, that I've had a longevity in this league. The first time I came to this league, I was 252 pounds, so uh, the older you get, the lighter you have to be just so I can keep up with the other guys, but staying in shape, taking care of your body, is definitely a big reason why I'm still here. All right, we're halfway through. I have to ask you for question number six. This is probably a question you've gotten a million times since you've been here. Favorite barbecue joint in Kansas oh, City? Man, that's so hard. You know what? I would have to go with Oklahoma Joe's. It's a lot of great barbecue joints here. But uh, let's just stick it at Oklahoma Joe's right now. Now, Texas also famous for barbecue. I've actually been to the Salt Lake, very, you know, very good in Austin. Um, when you're home, when you get back to Texas, what's your favorite thing to do? Definitely barbecue there. You know, I, I'm biased when it comes to everything in Texas a little bit. But uh, my favorite thing to do is, is, is just to uh, hang out with my Longhorn friends uh, that I went to school with. The Longhorn family is just so clo close knitted group. And uh, it's so much, so many things to do. Uh, the music life is great out there, the eating, uh, the, the restaurants. So it, it's, it's a great time in Austin. Derek, now I want to ask you something that is around now that really wasn't around when you first came in the league, and that's jersey swapping. You know, I've seen a lot of players do it, you've done it. What does the player do with all these jerseys? Man, you know what? I, I, I wish I would have started a long time ago. I'm, I'm behind right now. I only got a few jerseys, but it's just appreciation and respect. Uh, towards your peers in the NFL. I like the way you handle your business on and off the field. Can I have your jersey? And it's something that, that'll last a long time and your children can, uh, can, can see what, what, what you've done in the league by having these jerseys. Recently, we had the bye week and you were on CBS. Uh, is that a little bit of foreshadowing into something you may want to pursue when you're done, when you finally decide to hang up the cleats? It was a different world for me. A lot of cameras moving around. I mean, it was it's nerve wracking a little bit, but uh, it's talking about football, something that I really know a lot about. And I definitely want to coach uh, later on. I want to give my kids uh, a little bit more of my time after football, commentating and doing stuff like that. That won't take up too much of my time, so I might dibble and dabble with that early. All right, final question. You're having another great season. A lot of coaches have been interviewed and asked, you know, how is DJ able to have longevity in this league? And they said, it's just, you're very intelligent. Can we expect another 12 years with DJ in this league? <laughs> you know what? It can't be 12, but it'll be more. I can't, I can't put a number on it, but uh, the longevity that I have in this league, it definitely comes from the mental aspect of the game. Uh, my body uh, physically can still do certain things, but uh, mentally has to go way up so I can anticipate certain plays so I can be there before the runner gets there, before the quarterback throws a touchdown. All right, well, Derek, thank you for joining us on 10 Questions With. Thank you.